how do you how do we balance uh, appropriate confidentiality that the kind of can, confidentiality that's appropriate to an investigation about very serious allegations, both for the sake of the accused and the accuser? How do you balance that confidentiality with the kind of transparency that's required for the faithful to sort of not to, to, to see that, say, a law like Bose Estes is actually working? Well, uh, they don't have to know the gory details uh, of what is going on, but they should be uh, made aware that an investigation is underway, uh, that it has been uh, completed and a report sent to the Holy See, and this is the outcome. Uh, if you're a victim, uh, you need to know that your complaint was taken seriously and people did something about it. And if the result is not to discipline the one whom you accused of wrongdoing, then you ought to get an explanation. Uh, if you are the one who was accused, uh, you ought to know what you're accused of and what is the evidence that is being used against you and when is this process ever over? And if uh, you are exonerated, this occasionally happens or sometimes happens, uh, you have a right to have an attempt made at least to restore your reputation. Uh, at least with pre ordinary priests, once there is a credible accusation of misconduct, you are removed from your position. Uh, your parishioners are told that you are under investigation. Uh, so your rep reputation is already pretty badly tarnished. So if you are exonerated at the end of the process, um, then uh, you ought, people ought to be told that we did all of these things and we could not substantiate the claim. Bishops deserve the same. And the community needs to know that uh, a process was undertaken, that it was serious. Uh, you don't have to give all the details, but you can give an idea of what all was done to look into the matter uh, and that this is the result. Uh, we did take this seriously. We did act on it, and here is what we are doing. 